Freedom School is very interesting. Something I like about Freedom Schools is it taught me self-love and now I don't really have such a bad attitude. They taught me how to control my angers and solve problems and stuff like that. Well, we only have one week left of Freedom School and something that I'm really gonna miss. <sighs> Freedom School is amazing because I get to I get to meet new people and new SLIs. Cause when you get off of school and you're playing during the summer, you don't you don't really remember your education that you had during the past grades. So Freedom Schools helps you uh, learn. Freedom Schools is a fun place where you can make friends, catch up on work that you haven't like that you forgot over the summer, and to do fun stuff like go on field trips and stuff. My favorite memory from Freedom Schools is going to Wake Island. We had like a water water balloon fight and I got soaking wet. I'm gonna miss doing Harambe in the morning because they used to keep me late. Harambe and like the different activity, afternoon activities like that they expose you to, to like new things. When I think of Freedom Schools, the first thing I think about is field trips. My favorite thing about Freedom School is that we get more opportunities to do stuff than in regular school. For yoga and Mr. Hill for black art, we look at black people's um, art and then we try to do something like that. My experiences with Freedom, is, for Freedom Schools has opened my mind to the world. Well, for Freedom Schools, I was very close-minded and was very kept to myself and very like shy and close. Um, when I started attending Freedom Schools, I started to interact with other students and other people who were similar to me and I started to like open my eyes and my mind to the world. I'm gonna miss Freedom Schools when it's over because I made so many friends and I might not see them again. What I'm gonna miss most about Freedom School is my friends because um, I've been with them for three years and it's gonna hurt to leave them. Freedom Schools is where you can be free and just like be yourself. Like the um, site coordinator, Mr. Yancey, he like, he's like an overall cool dude and Miss Prince and Miss Cobb, like they just like, they're very nice and they like make you feel comfortable with them. Freedom Schools has taught me a passion for reading and literature and a passion to teach since I am a, a high school intern. My name is Adesia Henry. I am a fifth year junior at SLI. I graduated from Grant Union High School and in the fall I'll be at Alabama a and University. My first year interning was the first year that the Roberts Family Development Center adopted Freedom Schools. So from the jump, it was a different experience from, from you know, your basic summer camp. You know, there's a lot more music, a lot more enrichment, a lot more fun for the kids. And through Freedom Schools, you know, the kids are learning different ways to express themselves and like, even though we're supposed to be like, you know, teaching them, it's a really great learning experience for us as well to see what they adapt to and see what they respond to. To me, Freedom School is unlocking the beauty, the wisdom, and the greatness of all of our kids. Freedom, think about the word freedom. There's freedom that we think about literally, but then there's the freedom that comes with ensuring that every young person has no ceiling, that they have the opportunity to, to chart their own course in life, to do what they want and love, to be leaders, to be contributing members of society and community. And it starts with adult accountability. It starts with adults saying, Every kid matters. That's what runs through Freedom Schools and the Roberts Family Development Center. Freedom School is part of Roberts Family Development Center vision and mission because we always believe that education is and should be the great equalizer. Freedom School really encourage kids to like to learn, which is different than, here's a book, let me show you how to read it. When kids love to read, they're more apt to pick up a book, right? 
And so Freedom School does that because it creates confidence in the kids. Um, it creates that no matter what's going on, I can do this type of, you know, attitude. And that's what we want our kids to do. And Freedom School provides that. And it also, uh, strangely, it increases the confidence of our servant leaders and they also get confidence because they see what they are doing and how the kids are progressing. Freedom Schools is a six week summer literacy program that's deeply rooted in the civil rights movement, specifically the Mississippi Freedom Summer. We start every morning with Harambe, which is a Swahili word that means let's pull together. So it's basically a morning pep rally where we bring in our students, our servant leaders, interns who are the staff members working with the students, community members, and we basically have a morning celebration and we celebrate each other, we celebrate literacy, um, reading, learning, and having fun. So the components of Harambe are we sing a motivational song, we have a read aloud guest come in from the community to read to the students, we do a series of cheers and chants that are call and response that get the students really excited, um, we have uh, recognitions where we recognize star staff members, star students, and star parents. We we have a moment of silence to calm the students down and get them ready for their day and then we end Harambe with announcements and we do that sequence every morning and it's really just to set the tone for the day for our students. When it comes to Freedom Schools we have an ear to listen and we have patience and the passion to listen and understand what they're feeling their stories. And it's just simple human nature is just wanting to be heard, wanting to be listened to. And I think that um, that's one of our main focuses here at Freedom School is listening to what the children have to say. Um, like our shirts say, like if we don't stand for children, we don't stand for much. Being able to really inspire and really give um, positive affirmations to our students because I think sometimes they forget what they have inside of them. And so even singing um, our motivational song, Something Inside So Strong, is it making sure that our students know that they have something inside them to build them and help them grow and that they are our future um, leaders, lawyers, athletes, and things like that. After Harambe, we move into the integrated reading curriculum, which is the most important part of Freedom Schools, the literacy component. Our staff members are sent to Knoxville, Tennessee for a week-long training where they learn the model and the curriculum of Freedom Schools, and they learn how to implement the integrated reading curriculum. So depending on the grade level of the students, they're either reading one book each day or one book a week and they're doing different activities group discussions critical thinking art projects um, skits role-playing based on those books so it's about two hours and 45 minutes of literacy instruction every morning which is roughly about 70 to 80 hours of um, literacy instruction over the summer months that they may not have gotten otherwise. My role has changed in Freedom Schools over the years by of course um, stepping up into a more of a leadership position. I first started out in the after school program and then I matriculated into the uh, Freedom School role as a servant leader intern. First year, it was of course new to me being in the Freedom Schools and learning about all the history and cultural background in regards to that and then now and just focusing on the children <laughs> I stepped into a more of a leadership role where I'm looking after the SLI servant leader interns as well as the students and scholars having a Co-side coordinator, there really is no difference in the two of us. We're on an equal playing field. We have the same um, title and we have the same duties. We monitor the school. We pop into classrooms every single day to make sure that IRC is running smoothly and any problems or discrepancies we have, um, we handle those as well. What inspired uh, me uh, to look into Freedom School was really um, Kendra Montgomery Brock, a program officer at Sierra Health Foundation. She told me about it um, and uh, two of our uh, friends who were leaders in Sac City School District, um, Britt and Zanae, um, went um, with me to Tennessee. It was a January morning. Um, it was interesting because the, the greetings from the, what I found out were Ella Baker trainers. Um, young people were there, was, was enthusiastic and upbeat. And it was early in the morning and it was in January. You gotta remember it's the three hour difference between California and Tennessee. So wasn't quite there until they perked us up. And they perked us up and from then on we were, uh, we were inspired by what Freedom School could offer. Uh, Freedom School, um, 
showed itself to be what Roberts Family Development Center was about, what we're already doing, but in essence, uh, the partnership with the Children's Defense Fund solidified our ability to do quality work. And what's always important to me is that we uh, are recognized for doing quality work. I was one of the first uh, supporters of Freedom School, primarily because uh, I like to think I enjoy a long, rich uh, family history, in fact, with uh, Roberts Family Development Center, uh, both Daryl and, and Tina Roberts, um, terrific people in our community doing wonderful, great things. And they're really people I can kind of inherently trust. If they're gonna bring something to the community that uh, they feel is going to add value in terms of uh, keeping young people busy and, and uh, promoting uh, literacy and, and making sure that uh, they don't lose their momentum during the summer months when they're out of school. As a new program for the community, you know, it didn't take a hard sell for me. Uh, I knew who was bringing that program to us, knew that um, we could trust that it's going to, you know, uh, achieve the objectives that they set for themselves and for the community. And I immediately wanted to be helpful, uh, be a part of it, participate if I can. And it's really been a, a tremendous, uh, wonderful partnership that we've enjoyed for several years now. When I was on Alex Haley Farm in Knoxville, Tennessee, Clinton, Tennessee, to be honest, uh, it was a spiritual connection in that um, we even started the morning with, uh, with the hallelujah chorus. <laughs> Very different. There wasn't necessarily a prayer, but we were singing the hallelujah chorus on talking about school activities. We went from that to singing uh, the uh, motivational song, Something Inside So Strong. And you recognize that there was a connection that you could put um, into education that would inspire our kids. And I think that's all I was looking for. That was all I was hoping to be as a conduit uh, in our community who could provide excitement um, to education. And that's probably what I think is missing right now, the excitement, the motivating connection that our kids need to understand why being educated and why school is important. The goal of the, the program is to make sure that the students um, are leaving empowered and wanting to learn, liking to learn, le wanting to read. Um, and how Freedom School does that, we will actually to really em embody and embrace the motivational song that there is something strong inside of me, that I know that I can do it. And if they leave that, that's that shift to wanting to read and wanting to, to learn. Um, and so Freedom School, that's the goal to it, and that's um, really why I'm part of it. I was raised um, understanding the Civil Rights Movement and how that impacts me. And that part is why I'm, I'm, I'm involved today, because um, this is my way of, of being part of that movement. Every summer, um, people ask me, what are you doing this summer? I'm changing students' lives. I'm here, I'm here for these babies. So, um, you know, Freedom School to me, like I said, is a, is a, a movement of empowerment, not just for the students, but um, for the teachers, the parents, the SLIs that are involved, the schools, the communities, um, and giving those, those students the tools. Children's Defense Fund is a child advocacy organization that was started in 1973 by our founder and leader and civil rights activist and child advocate, Marion Elden Wright. In California, Children's Defense Fund, we have four policy areas that we focus on. We have ending child poverty. We have making sure all children have access to health. We work to change the, the school environment for kids. So education equity is a policy area and also juvenile justice. We want to change the way um, juvenile justice works, transforming youth justice. We are amazed at the work that Roberts Family Development Center does here with the youth. It's, it's amazing. It's one of our strongest partnerships. I've been a partner, you've been a partner for six years. You, you have more than 600 kids. And this year, that's more than half that we have in the state. We're serving about 1,200 kids statewide and you guys have 640 of them. So we're very pleased. I've been able to visit three different sites now and the youth are happy. They're reading, they are enjoying, enjoying themselves. So it's great to see. You know, six weeks is a very short amount of time and Freedom Schools has a real impact. Um, to watch children fall in love with books to watch scholars help other scholars read and sound out words and it's gonna be okay. Remember, this is what this means or this is how you say this word. That's a really big deal in 36 days. It's a great investment because it doesn't just rely first on the government to deliver all the benefits. In fact, 
All we are is the catalyst, a little bit of money in the hands of the right dedicated nonprofit, the right educators. That's the magic that can turn around neighborhoods and, and that creates the next generation of, of leaders. So in the Roma School District, one of the phenomena that exists is this concept that we don't have the diversity of our student population represented in the diversity of our staff. It's something that as a leader in the district is very important to me to work to, um, to improve. Um, and that's kind of a personal thing for me and reflecting on my own childhood, having never had a teacher, a Latino teacher um, in my school career. It's something that, um, you know, a little Latino boy noticed, especially because I wanted to become a teacher. So that's something that, that, that I know is, is valuable for children. And it's also very important to the Robo School Board to have a more diverse staff, um, one that's more reflective of the, uh, the student population that we have. So Freedom School, because it engages uh, young people of color and brings them to, the, to, to be the staff that work with the students in the summer, um, I think, again, gives students some wonderful role models, uh, allows students to see themselves reflected in the adults that are being these positive influences in their lives during the instruction that's happening in Freedom School. I think my dream for that, and this is something that Mr. Roberts and I have discussed, I think my dream for that and his dream for that would be that this could create a pipeline, that these young people who are working with children kind of as a summer job get excited about possibly becoming a teacher and that we can help them and support them in pursuit of that. Um, I think that that's a, what a wonderful thing to do to, to find a ways in our system to nurture these people who maybe this idea of becoming a teacher is a new concept to them. I think a lot of times that our scholars don't see their own people in the positions that they want to be in. So I myself am becoming a doctor and I tell the scholars that every day you're speaking to a future Dr. Brown. So at the end of the day, they know that if Ms. Brown can go and graduate in May, I can go and graduate in May. If Ms. Brown can get two degrees, I can get three degrees, you know? So as long as they see that I am a woman, a woman of color, and a woman of color with two degrees and a woman of color that's about to become a doctor, then I know that I can, I can build up the next scholar to do the same thing. Freedom so. School is absolutely fabulous um, to watch children become excited about learning, about working together, about being a leader amongst their peers um, in a community where the children all look alike um, and to be engrossed in opportunities with adults that look like them to inspire them, to encourage them is absolutely amazing. Um, I get the luxury to experience it not only as a um, member of Roberts Family Development Center, but also as a parent and to watch my nine-year-old come home and say, Harambe is fabulous. I love it. I believe in myself. Um, is amazing. Lynn, I am a school board member for Natomas Unified School District. I've been on my board 17 years, very proudly, and Natomas Unified is actually one of the most diverse districts in the United States, um, and we're proud that uh, Freedom School is at uh, our district. It's important for us to think about not just now, but the future. And the future is about investing in our kids. And when you look at the investment needed for Freedom School, it's just not for the summer. It's for the entire year. We know that there is a summer slide and we know that there is yet we don't have equality. We don't have equity for our children of color, for our children of poverty. So that's the investment we have to make. Where California has stated local control and emphasis on closing the achievement gap is so important. Investment in Freedom School is an investment in the bottom line of the success of those kids so that they can be responsible, global, civic engaged citizens that give back to them. Uh, come out and take a look for yourself. Uh, um, watch the kids, see the kids, see the respect, see the engagement, see the, the learning, uh, see the fun. And that would tie right in. Uh, you know, Freedom School is a great opportunity to uh, empower and engage our kids during the summertime. You know, the school year, uh, the cycle of, of, a, of a year um, needs something different. And so Freedom Schools offer something a little bit different while also having a very big focus on our early reading intervention. And the message is this. 
that whatever they do in life, whether it's you know pursuing medicine or maybe law enforcement or the law or science um, or architecture, uh, I know that in that room of hundreds of kids, uh, I know that there's gonna be the next county supervisor, the next city council person, next mayor, next assemblyman, you know, governor, the sky's the limit.